Okay, it's task 4.1. We're on the first diamond task of section 4. And in here, we're going to be inspecting whatever the user inputs at this point here. So enter line is text that's going to be put there because you're going to use an input function. And in this case, it's looking for the word aardvark, written like that, all lowercase. So in this sentence, there is aardvark. There's an S there, but aardvark is within that. So it wants you to print aardvark if it's in there. Whereas the second time it runs it, it just types this line as none. So there isn't an aardvark, so you should type that. So the important of the ones are the help files, the help pages on here, this third task here. So the third circle page is the one that gives you most information. So I'm going to run the code because it allows you to try out the code that they've given you. I'm going to type in Dave. And at this point, I'm going to try and pause the video. At this point here, because I've typed in Dave, this program is looking to see if there is an X in the variable name. And name is the input. Enter your name. So when I put Dave in, that goes into name. And it says, if there is an X in, which is a new one for us, in name, then print your name contains an X. If it doesn't, else, and you've just done if and else, then print no X. And because there's no X in Dave, I get there is no X in your name. So that's fine. Um, but just to show you that it's not just for one letter, I'm going to make a change to this here now. So I'm going to change X to hand. So I'm going to say hit hand, and I'll change the rest of the code so it makes more sense, words rather than name. Now it doesn't know that hand is a word, it just knows that there are four characters it's searching for, H, A, N, and D. So when we come to run this code, we're going to put it in, and at this point, I'm going to put hello there, another day goes by. Okay, something that hasn't got hand in there. And when that runs, it says at the bottom, no hand in your words, because obviously there isn't the word hand in there, or there isn't the characters H-A-N-D in this particular sentence. So that seems sensible. What if I was to run it again and put something with the word hand in? Here is my hand for you. And if we run that, you can see that in this instance, we've got your word contains hand, because hand is in the sentence that's recorded in this variable, if hand in name print your word contains hand and indeed it's got your word contains hand there. What if I was to type another sentence where it's not just the word hand but something like I uh, can do handstands. So the word hand is in there but it's kind of put inside another word. So on there even with this one I can do handstands. It's still found that your word contains hand because it's picked out H-A-N-D. As I say, it doesn't know that hand is a name or a word. It just knows that it's looking for those characters. If it finds it in whatever somebody has typed in, it will go down this route of the if it's true. Otherwise, it's false and it will go down there. So on your actual page now, you're asked to enter this text. Enter line. Okay, That's all you're meant to do in your code. This bit is going to be input by the user. So this, again, shouldn't appear anywhere in your code. If it's true, you're going to print aardvark. There is an exclamation mark and a capital A. If it's false, as in this line has none, there's no aardvark in there, then it's going to say no aardvarks here, space, smi not smiley face, and happy face, and a capital N there as well. So you need to just get it to put input enter line. Now, you've done this a number of times, but it's just to show you again. Ignore the black, that's what's going to be typed in. So in order to get it exactly the same, you have to put in exactly as it asks for, which is enter line. And then if I run this, I can just copy from there are aardvarks under the bed. That's what I'm going to put in. Copy and paste that in. And then when I've got my code there, you can see that because I've put enter line colon space there it's giving me enter line down here that's blue the black is what I've typed in that looks exactly the same as that over there 
So that's the type of thing you're going to be doing to get the first line. Then you need to just check whether aardvark is in the line of text that you've been given. And as I say, the previous circle page gives you a good idea of how to do that.